We spent the second day of our trip at the Kualoa Ranch in Oahu, which offers horseback tours and ATV tours and electric bicycle tours and bus tours, and honestly, I'm probably forgetting something. Kualoa Ranch is famous for its historic role as the first sugar cane plantation on the island, but also for its long history as the perfect tropical filming location. The bus tour passes by historic sites like the first sugar mill on the island, but also this bunker used in the filming of Lost. Up the hill and inside this bunker built for World War II, every room has been used in either a movie or television scene, or houses an exhibit devoted to one of the movies that has been filmed here on the ranch. And it is not a small number. Everything from Wind Talkers and Kong Island to Jurassic Park and Jurassic World to Journey of the Center of the Earth series Basically, anytime Hollywood needed a tropical looking location, they used the Kualoa Ranch because the mountains framing the valley are a beautiful backdrop. Also, this view is one of the best I've ever seen on the islands. The bus tour continues past fields, which would be only significant for their production of sustainable and local growing crops but are easily recognizable if you've watched many of the big blockbusters in the past three decades, or almost any television show set in a tropical location. Along the way, we saw souvenirs that production companies have left in their wake. Giant footprints, explosion craters, props and huts and ramps and fake villages. The bus stopped at the Kong Skull Island Boneyard, and while these props have seen better days, it is still impressive to see them up close it's hard to beat a 10-foot tall skull. When it was time to choose my press penny souvenir, it was no choice at all. After the Kualoa Ranch, we went to the Ho'oma Lupia Botanical Garden, free to the public, and believe me when I say that free attractions in Hawaii are rare. We stopped at a visitor center where two ladies were giving a demonstration of how to wind Hawaiian rope using nothing but large leaves. Maybe for nets? I don't know, I should have asked. We looked around at all the unfamiliar plants, nuts, and seeds that we found there. Nature is truly astounding sometimes. And then decided we would take the brief hike to the lake in the day's warm breeze. I wish I could get flowers and trees like this to grow where I live, but of course these need a tropical climate. Compared to my home state, Hawaii is amazingly green and lush and full of life. Everywhere I looked, there were plants I have never even heard of before. This is the closest I've ever been to a cacao tree. Maybe I'll grow one in a greenhouse and I can make my own chocolate. Or maybe I'll just keep buying chocolate like everyone else. Some of these are just gorgeous. Some fooled me into thinking they were something else. For example, these are not bananas. I don't know what it is, but it's not a banana tree. We finally got to the lake and were delighted to see ducks and so many fish. Hundreds and hundreds of these orange fish. Are they koi? Giant goldfish? Are koi just giant goldfish? I don't know. There was a huge school of them right along the bank. Look for the orange line in the water. That's how thick they were. My wife has always said if she turns into a duck in her next life, she'd like to live in Disneyland. When we got here, she said she changed her mind. If I get reincarnated as a duck, I want to live here. Back up the trail we went, this time a little slower. We discovered even more plants that we hadn't noticed on the way down. Some with names that my family thought I had made up. All of them mind-bogglingly different than anything I had seen before. We caught a glimpse of a mongoose. Not our only time seeing one, but the only time I caught one on camera. This sign says, Loco Waimaluhia and I have no idea what it means. But the next sign says, do not enter. And I read them out loud. My wife was looking at Google Maps and said, wow, your Hawaiian is getting really good. Next, we went to get shave ice at Coconut Girl and Guys near Ka'a'awa. I apologize to all Hawaiians for my terrible pronunciation of your beautiful language. This is right near a breathtaking stretch of shoreline, like everything on this road. It is Hawaii, after all. 
We had shave ice several times during our visit and this was truly excellent. They had the best selection of flavors and toppings of any shave ice we tasted on this trip, as well as a whole heaping side of character. This also had the distinction of being the juiciest shave ice we had on Oahu. Finally, we pulled into Swansea Beach Park looking for a bathroom. But after peeking inside the restrooms, we decided we could all hold it. So we went to the shore to look for the beach. It was high tide, so there was no beach. Just a beautiful view of the afternoon sea and the sky and the clouds and the energy of the waves. And some little crabs skittering along the top of the wall. We ended the day here and went back to our Airbnb to relax for the night. Oh, good grief, okay. Y'all right, little phone? <laughs>